Okay, so I usually don't spend too much time uh, talking about rolling stock, but I just picked this up and I thought it would be uh, worth taking a look at. And you can see the back of it here. I paid about $42 for it. Just picked this up at a local hobby shop today. So we'll take a look at it here. So we got it out of the box here. Just taking a look at it. And that is real etched metal on the top there. Very nice. Comes with KD58s on it. Not sorry plastic couplers. Uh, one of the coolest things about this car is the underneath. All the detail that it has here, all these little pipes. Really, really cool. Let's see if it actually has spinning bearing caps here. No, the bearing caps don't actually spin, but they are the correct color. It has all the little end details there. I think this looks awesome. So let's take a look at it on the track. Okay, so we got it on the track here and just taking a look at it. Um, it rolls good. Not exceptional, but it rolls pretty good. Give you a close up here. Very modern looking car, has the reflective stripes on there. Really no details missed on this at all. So let's take a look at it running by here. Well, there you have it. Uh, I really, really like it. Um, I haven't spent too much time buying rolling stock. Um, pretty much this train here is about all that I have as far as modern freight. Uh, like many other people, I kind of spend too much time buying locomotives and not enough time actually buying rolling stock. But uh, most of my rolling stock to date has been very inexpensive and I'm starting to realize the drawbacks of that and that's that it doesn't really run very good when you have a longer train. They're not weighted properly, they tend to derail, uh, the details missing there. Uh, the more expensive stuff is usually weighted properly, has a little bit better detail, rolls better. Metal wheels, metal couplers are usually rolling it right out of the box. You don't have to add those and spend more money. Uh, so in the long run, I'm starting to see the value of buying higher quality rolling stock and I will definitely be getting some more BL BLMA stuff really really nice um they've recently been acquired by atlas so hopefully their quality keeps up but really really like this car this might be one of my favorite pieces of rolling stock that i have very very nice